everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will do an unboxing of the Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum Travel Purse Spray or just Purse Spray. Um, they give you 3 times 20 milliliter little glass vials and in the middle of this packaging right there is the refillable container in metal. It should be in metal at least. I have done an unboxing of the Chanel No. 5 Eau de Toilette purse spray as well as the Chanel No. 5 Low purse spray also in 20 ml. I think these little metal twist and spray bottles are amazing or containers are amazing. Um, and as we are celebrating uh, the imminent release of the Chanel No. 5 Eau de Parfum and Low Eau de Toilette red glass bottles um, I kind of purchased this one while traveling and duty free so it was relatively inexpensive all things considered I mean considering that it's Chanel you know um, but another reason why Eau de Parfum right now as some of you might know if you don't you could check out in the description box of this video the link to my top of the month for October 2018 top five fragrances Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Parfum is listed as one of them. The reason being because this particular concentration of Chanel number no. 5 is perfect for autumn. Um, it's just, well, together with the pure perfume, but the pure perfume is good all year round. But the Eau de Parfum just has that right tone of kind of ambery, warm hues of rays of, of, of kind of October light. If it's a sunny day in October, it can be a very golden, very warm kind of golden tone or hue of, of rays of light, which is incredible to, to witness. And I think number five in the Eau de Parfum concentration just smells the best in autumn. So what is interesting and peculiar about these packagings and boxes is that um, usually when you're unboxing, when you're unwrapping the plastic foil, um, Chanel kind of seals them off on top of the boxes. In the case of these purse sprays, the tendency is to always seal the plastic foil on the sides. So that's also an interesting thing to note and to notice if you're purchasing these secondhand, whatever, but still kind of sealed and new in box. This is a good indicator for what is authentic and what is not authentic to know also where the foils are sealed off. Now, the batch code for this one is a very, very fresh one. It's, it's just been produced basically today. Uh, 3101. Mm, this is a very, very fresh batch. And we're talking at the moment, October 2018. So we, let me see. So we, we have to pull out the whole thing out. Put that, uh, where am I? I'm there. And then we have to go on top again and the lid opens on top. But the back shows us the container in metal and then you got the little glass vials. One vial is already inside and then you got another two. So you got three vials, each 20 milliliter. Shows you how to twist and turn and spray uh, the, the, the sprayer as well as, oh, let's see this little instruction booklet or leaflet. It shows us how to perform the exchange of the fragrance once the container is empty, how to take it out, and how to put a new one back in. You can take a screenshot of this in case you are purchasing yours secondhand online somewhere and you don't have this leaflet that shows you. These are the instructions how to change the glass bottle inside. Okay, let's leave that there. And we just slide out the purse spray. Now, there's, there are variations to these. They always have the same shape. However, the Eau de Parfum has black lacquered metal. It's really beautiful and glossy. And then it has a golden border kind of running throughout the entire... It's very hard to see. You need to reflect the light right off it. There it is. Right there. Then the Eau de Toilette is completely black, very elegant, and then the Lo 
Uh, number five low version is white, mattified white, not lacquered white, with black framing all around. So, we twist it open like this. Where is the sprayer? It's right there. Twist. And once we, well, let's see the bottom first. Chanel number no. five, Eau de Parfum, made in France, 20 milliliter. It's all etched in metal. All of this is metal, it's very cool to the touch. So we twist, and once it's empty, we pull it out, and inside we have the 20 milliliter vial, um, which we just. I can't do it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh, let's do it. We gotta risk it. There you go. That's how you detach it from the top. There you see it. Where's my light? There. That's the inside. And this is the vial. And then when, let's say this one is empty. Um, in here, we have the refills. Here's one. Here's the other. You pull one out, and it has a little lacquered metal stopper. You take that off, and then <clears throat> we just stick it on top of here. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to put the other one back and then just kind of click it in. Now, if you already have, let's just put this back into its container, close these off, now let's leave that open. If you already have this, you've purchased once uh, before, right, let's go, your refillable metal container, and you finish up all three of your 20 milliliter vial uh, glass vials, then Chanel does offer you, not in duty free unfortunately because I want to make more money, but they do offer you the possibility uh, for a little bit less money than purchasing the full kit, three refills. So you just get three of these with the, you know, without the sprayer on top and then you put them back in your container that you already have. So we click this on. There you go. So now I have to find the right angle. Okay. Oh. Here. Perfect. I like to align my text with this, the sprayer nozzle. I think I'm a jiggy. So when it's closed, it's aligned. But that's just me. You don't have to do it. And let's spray away. Delicious. Ah, oh, Chanel number five. Always blissful. And I mean, it. listen, I know it's been reformulated. It's not as intense as it was in the 80s when it was first released and formulated by Jacques Polge. But it's still a miracle of a fragrance. It's still one of my favorites. And I'm going to keep buying it as long as I live and breathe. Chanel number five will be on my list. No matter how much they kind of change it and alter it, it's still manages to to keep its oh I love it so much it's magic intact and here for comparison I have the pure perfume spray also the new additions are all in metal and lacquered they're gorgeous 7.5 milliliter where is it the... these are refillable like that you buy a full vial with the sprayer this one doesn't detach unlike the 20 milliliter version this is my holy grail perfume and um, so you can compare the size 20 milliliter Eau de Parfum versus 7.5 ml pure perfume let's see I don't even know where we are here at the moment the camera is kind of upside down bear with me so there you have the size comparison um, it almost looks like a lipstick. It is bigger than a lipstick though, the Pure Perfume. The container for the sprayer. It is bigger than a Chanel lipstick. And this is even bigger still. So once 
you rolled your spray nozzle in, you can't spray anymore. There's a mechanism in there that prevents it from spraying. So it won't, you know, no pressure can kind of, if you have this in the purse, nothing can kind of press in here and then have leakage of, of liquid inside the bottle. The sprayer is freed only once it's kind of rolled open and then you can, then the spray works. And then when you click it back in, no matter how much you press, it's not going to spray. So there you have it, guys. I hope you like this unboxing and review as we are waiting for the release of the red glass 100 milliliter bottles, limited edition of Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum and Chanel Number no. 5 L'Eau. Um, I've been hearing a lot of different news about it. They should be released around the 15th of October, in some cases beginning of November or mid-November, depending which part of the world you're in. But by the end of November, the entire planet should be infected by red Chanel bottles of 100 milliliter Eau de Parfum, 100 milliliter L'Eau, as well as 55 bottles produced in crystal, red crystal for 900 milliliter pure perfume the price will be unpayable for those. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please do thumb it up and consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. No matter how much they reformulate our Chanel number no. five, we're still gonna love it because we never give up on love. Love you guys, see you soon, take care, bye.